four. Mm-hmm. Um, where I did was in a hotel and I had an anxiety attack. Mm-hmm. Where you know my heart just kind of racing, you know, and I just rushed to open the door and stuff, catch some fresh air. But that happened once. Um, I never got robbed. And the third one, when it comes to satisfying customers or, you know, but not put the wrong one, mm-hmm. there have been a time where I can say it twice. There was a time I was in Wenzler basically and I had a customer, you know, he told me he had, he only had, um, hundred and twenty dollars mm-hmm. you know he's under the budget he want to know he's just gonna spend half an hour he's gonna respect me and you gonna make sure you enjoy myself uh, when the guy came over he had eighty dollars mm-hmm. and in terms that he didn't even say no cuz for me I believe there's a way of doing certain things and saying certain things mm-hmm. he just give me the eighty dollars and he starts stripping mm-hmm. and I'm like hold on this thing like <laughs> we agree on the price, darling. I know you didn't have my two bills, and mm-hmm. I respect that. You're very honest. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, this is still short. It's the coinage. Mm-hmm. You know, so this guy got a little bit head over heels, snatched back up the money, you know, told me fuck off. Mm-hmm. And he actually, when he, he actually even pulled up my charger because I was charging his own. Mm-hmm. I jumped on his back. I'm like, you know, mm-hmm. the fuck? You're, you, this is your fault. You could mm-hmm. just give me the 80 bucks and said, this is all I have now at the moment. Mm-hmm. And it caused a fight. This guy actually, you know, show me one side. And I'm like, bitch, you know mm-hmm. who I am? I have a pair of balls between my legs, so mm-hmm. I'm going to fight you. Oh, so we are timely going out through the, um, the door. And as soon as I get out, the guys from New York City, basically, you have to be 21 to drink in the States. Mm-hmm. So they came over here to drink in Winsler. And as soon as we got out, the raffle went on. Mm-hmm. And one of the big guys, he looks like he's on steroids. He's huge. Mm-hmm. And he's like, um, he saw the fight. And he's like, what happened, miss? What happened? And I'm like, uh, this guy took my money. So as soon as I said that, this boy, this big ass boy grabbed this bitch up and threw him on the wall. He's like, look at her, look at her. Why are you going to rob her? And I'm like, yes, I don't even know why you will rob me. You know, you, mm-hmm. you take the money. And he, the, this big guy threw one punch in his face. Oh, wow. And I'm like, oh, my God. So then he's like, look at her. She's pretty. Why would you rob her? Like, the fuck? Look at her. And then I'm like, yeah. You know, I don't know why. He so he took out the money and dropped mm-hmm. it on the ground. And he's like the the kid was like, Look at her, you know, she's really gorgeous and pretty you you take advantage of her and give her another punch in his face. Mm-hmm. And his head bounced off the wall and <laughs> he dropped on the floor, you know, knocked up for like maybe twenty seconds. Um I took that out the was money. Scary. Yes, it was drama. Mm-hmm. And he ran through the door. This was the T. Mm-hmm. Now, the people that was sparting there, like a bunch of 19 year olds and 20 year olds, mm-hmm. I think there's like six of them, mm-hmm. but they didn't know I was trans. Mm-hmm. So the manager came out, you know, that time my key was locked inside the room, so I couldn't get back in my room. And he's like, you know, you're gonna, I'm gonna get your key, you're gonna give me your ID to make sure this is you. And I'm like, okay, no problem. Um, so by the time I got in the room, the guys find out that I'm, I'm T, mm-hmm. trans. So I have one of the guys calling my phone. They're like, I don't know you're trans, and I'm like, he 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 he. Thank you for picking up for me, though. You know, you know how to respect a woman. Mm-hmm. So then the next guy called and he's like, so can I see you? <laughs> and I'm mm-hmm. like, come on, I still have to charge my coinage. Mm-hmm. As much as you pick up from me, I still have to charge my coinage. But that was one of the incidents I've been through. Oh my god, that sounds... Oh, oh. Oh, it's frightening, scary. But at the end of the day, somebody stood up for you. Yes. So, um, on that note, um, now, in the business, how long do you plan on being in this business? Or are you still in this business now? Uh, Yes, I'm still in the business. Um... I, my plan was to stop the business since last year, but how to put it, um, my money plans wasn't on tack and, you know, back page, 
have been taken down. Mm -hmm. So at the moment, I'm still I'm planning to go on for maybe another year, another two years, until I own my own business. Um, most likely, so I can have like a little clients coming, like a little one fifty a day coming in from my own investment or own business. Mm -hmm. However, um, I don't think I will stop at Garden still. Okay. The man with the right dollar, I still shake my titties for him. Oh, okay. <laughs> So you mean so you you because the money is so good you don't want to stop? Yeah, to be honest, um, even though the money is good, it don't always be that well because some people will compare. You know, you make good money not mm -hmm. all the time, and one lesson to be learned: fast money goes just as fast. Mm -hmm. It have a curse on it. So mm -hmm. as much as the life is fast, you know, the money doesn't last too long. Well, you have to put the money towards something good. Good uses. That's what I'm trying to do this well. year. Mm -hmm. So, at the end of the day, what do you want? What should people know about Sweet Pea? Uh, to be honest, I will say I'm, I'm very inspiring. I'm, I'm a million things. I'm nice. Um, I take time for myself. But at the end of the day, Sweet Pea still, you know... A person that does what she wants to do mm -hmm. in terms of fashion looks um, even you know being business wise I enjoy my every minute of my life and I I look up for respect and I expect those who are looking at this and who are viewing this millions of people to respect themselves mm -hmm. you know there, there, there are people out here that will strip your value very fast mm -hmm. you know and they don't show like even if you're even as Dear Escar, if you're, you know, your time is precious. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot of energy. Don't let anybody drain your energy. Mm -hmm. You know, always recharge for yourself. That's not my best advice. And that's what I'm looking to do at the moment. Recharge myself. Um, make my own business. So, because this Escar thing is, for me, in my heart, it's not going to last too long. Mm -hmm. there, there are people that come in out. Um, there are girls that are desperate for money. You know, and they do anything for less of what they're really worth. Mm -hmm. And I'm not downgrading them or, you know, looking at, at them in any form of fact, but, you know, down the line, you know, men are going to devalue the cost of it because um, I know even for male escorts who guys take out, take them to dinners, pay them mm -hmm. for their time, they're not expecting that much. But then me as a trans, you know, guys want to know from the get-go you know what are we going to do you know how is this going to play you know mm -hmm. they're looking for a whole jalopy mm -hmm. and i can say that much in terms like the business is not going to last too long you know there's already start devaluing the government have already taken on most of the important sites and mm -hmm. so that's why i can advise anybody make whatever you make make good uses of it Okay, a couple, just a couple of more questions for you, Sweet Pea. Now, the difference between how is it that the trans women are treated and the, and, and, and the gay community, the gay men in the community, how is the relationship between trans women and gay men? Uh, to be honest to you, we are we are on the uh, umbrella basically i'm going to be honest mm -hmm. and this is one of the main facts that this is i'm going to bring up three main facts that trans and gay do have um meaning under the brill under briller meaning we do have attention from gay guys we do have attention from straight guys we do have attention from lesbians and open-minded people so you know we are under the umbrella as in you know um we are quite quite versatile mm -hmm. and with gay people they're not that versatile because you know they can't get basically everything mm -hmm. um especially guys that who attracted to women you know will see a trans as a woman mm -hmm. and you know even gay people won't really realize that sorry so they think of you gay men would think of you as a as a drag queen or a cross dresser yes okay so, so that's mm -hmm. one of the issues um i will say the second issue will be mm -hmm. 
will be um like because most your auntie girls are escorts mm -hmm. so I will say that was one of the issues um, because there's a big discrimination I'm going to be honest a big big discrimination when it comes to um, trans and escorts basically mm -hmm. so because I'm an escort a lot of gay people doesn't really accept that mm -hmm. um, up to the people I'm going to be honest I, I, I live with some I live around maintenance guys, there are two of them, mm -hmm. and they're gay to be honest to you, mm -hmm. but the people just don't like me, they try to, you know, every minute they get, they try to cause a problem between me and, you know, the building or, you know, the managers or, you know, the landlord, up mm -hmm. to like two days ago they called the, the tow truck for me and the parking police, and I'm like, what? This is a point I don't get. You guys are gay. Mm -hmm. You guys could have just come and knock on my door and told me to move my vehicle. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I and it's kind of, kind of embarrassing that, you know, you guys are trying your best to get me out. Mm -hmm. And, you know, but that's some of the reality in terms of me being an escort. You know, some people do, doesn't like trans being escorts. You know, even me on the dating site, sometimes I try to hook up, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> the grinders. Uh -huh. You know, the first question some of the guys ask me when it comes to meeting me, oh, um, what do you work doing? You know, it's just going to cost me. To be honest, sometimes it hurts my feelings mm -hmm. because I'm to the point, you know, I never asked you for money. I just wanted to chill mm -hmm. to get to know you. But, you know, you didn't have to pass off so judgmental, okay. you know, it's real. Which, Sometimes I do feel bad, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, you know, I love who I am and who I am is, you know, based on my looks, mm -hmm. you know, whether it's tits, whether it's face, you know, my makeup, it makes me who I am. Mm -hmm. now, so, okay, go ahead. So at the end of the day, that will be the second one. Mm -hmm. Um, I would say the third one, I, I guess some trans do try too hard and there okay. can be harsh. Um, that's the third one. There can be harsh at times when it comes to, um, you know, gay friends or, you know, gay people. You know, they, they think they're all oh, that fish, mm -hmm. you know. So, at the end of the day, that, that would be the third one that a lot of people mistake and get away with. Okay. Now, our final question is this. Why don't, what is the difference between you as a trans woman performing as a drag queen or is it that most people when they just see you done up they just think that you're a drag queen and you there have you had many people ask you are you a drag queen do you perform uh to be honest i used to perform um but not anymore yes it is it's a difference to be honest um it's a difference in the whole living, you know, living your life as a, a trans, mm -hmm. you know, you're dressing as um, a female every day, you know, the makeup is different, the clothes is different, mm -hmm. you know, you still you still want to respect women, you know, um, drag, you know, you can go extra with the clothes, you could go extra with the makeup, mm -hmm. you know, you do more makeup when you're doing drag, long lashes, there is more androgynous. Mm -hmm. um, with living as a woman, you know, you want to be passable, you want to be respectful, you don't want to be showing too much titties, you don't want to be showing too much ass, mm -hmm. you don't want to pass off as, you know, and with drag you can't do that because it's an entertaining business, you know, so that's the two difference between trans and drag, basically. So you still want the respectability, the yes. respect in it. Okay, yes. I understand. Now, I'm going to ask you just a couple of light questions. Now, um, thank you so much, Sweet Pea, for being my guest on the Stephanie Stevens Show. As you see, we've been riding around Toronto tonight. Um, 